Welcome back to my channel. Hi. Happy Sunday, by the way. Uh, today, as promised, we're going to be talking about the brand new ruby red teaks that I was gifted by my lovely husband on Valentine's Day. So if you are an old subscriber and you've already seen my videos on my first pair of teaks you know that the first pair of teaks was actually gifted to me on Valentine's Day could this be a tradition I don't know we'll see so the second pair of teaks that I was gifted were the patent leather ruby reds and this was actually going to be the original pair that I wanted first, but since these shoes are expensive, they retail between 175 to 195 for the um, basic model and when they have some special edition models that are like something crazy like $375. And like $75. I've never purchased those so I can't speak in reference to those but today we're going to be talking about um, the patent leather ruby reds and so this is my favorite shade of red it's this like a deep scarlet um, red now I was very hesitant to buy um, this model at the beginning because I am not a delicate flower and I'm very rough with my hands I'm very rough with my feet and so I felt like these were gonna get really scuffed and scratched very easily I follow somebody on Instagram um, by the name of Teeks Life um, and she has I think like every single color of Teeks I mean the amount of Teeks she has is I mean impressive and I had she had posted a picture of the 4th of July um, last year and the she had the blue the white and these and I asked her about these and I asked her what her thoughts were of the patent leather versus just the regular matte leather that that Teeks has and she surprisingly said that her patent leather teaks actually have held up better than her just regular leather colored teaks so I said okay I'm just gonna take the plunge I really want this pair so I just added it to my wish list and so let me just show you the box that came in so depending on what color teaks you purchase you're always gonna get the blue teaks box but your flower on the top is going to be different and so my ruby reds came with this mauve red you know um colored flower and you can use this for many things so i've seen people use this to like keep their um yearly planners closed i've seen people put this use it as like a headband for children um, people get creative with these things so you will usually get a different color flower uh, depending on what color of teaks you purchase so you get it comes in the signature blue um, teaks box and then when you pop this open each pair of shoes um, you can go on my Instagram so you can see how it um, came packaged but they came folded into each other and so both of them um, were put inside the box. I'm going to be really honest with you. It is really hard for me to fit the teaks and everything this box comes in back in the box after I've already taken them out. It's like magic. I don't know how they do it, but it's an art. It's a skill that I do not hone. So in your box, you will get a postcard from Teeks. And these postcards are all different. So mine was just an, a picture of one of the Teeks that they um, sell. This is a patent leather um, type of Teak. And then on the inside, you get a handwritten um, note from the Teeks uh, team. Now, 
My first one I know was handwritten, but I'm not really sure that this one was handwritten. I This looks printed to me, but that's okay. It's still a nice touch um, that, you know, the Teeks company has. Um, this postcard is uh, definitely bigger than the other one um, I received with my first pair. And so this one shows you what pair of Teeks these are. These are the leopard print. And so, moving on, on the inside you get a little pamphlet, okay, that just kind of gives you the basic information um, for your teeks. These are the chestnut um, color, if you were wondering, and it just shows you, you know, what they're made of, etc., how to care for them, their return and exchange policy, what's inside, what should be included with your teeks. And then it shows you where you can follow them and what their hashtag is in case you want to post pictures of your teeks. Next thing you get in the box is a um, kind of like this is very like sort of like a uh, spandex material is the best I can describe this. And it just has the little teeks. Um, tab on top this is a black bag that has um just a pocket here for i have absolutely no idea for what but when you um untie this on the inside let me untie this if it's not like super sometimes they really tie this tight all right so when you untie this on the inside you have okay so you have this bag but on the inside oops you have another bag and which also has the teeks um logo right there and then when you want hinge this and you start taking this out it actually brings A tote for your shoes so what this is meant for is basically if you have a pair of shoes on and you have brought your teeks with you in this bag this bag is for your teeks you put them in here that's why they're so stretchy because you got to put them in there and they're not like the slimmest pair of shoes but they do fit in there um you put your regular shoes where are you gonna put your regular regular shoes i mean if you're not gonna stick them in your purse you don't want things to get dirty so you would put them in this tote and the black thing is attached to the bag you just tuck it in you put your shoes in here and you put your teeks on and boom you've got a little tote for your shoes and when you're done with this all you do is shove it right back in this bag in here you just quite literally start shoving it in there like magic okay once you get it in there you get this tap right here this flap and you fold it over and it's repackaged pretty simple pretty cool included in all the teaks that you buy that's everything that's in the box now let's move on to the shoe then you get the shoe. This is, again, the Ruby Reds with the signature Teak's Blue Sole. You have your grained leather on the bottom. This is very durable um, leather. This is a different type of leather, leather than what you get on the top. This is a lot rougher, a lot sturdier, obviously, because it's to sustain scratches, scuffs, etc. And then you um, get the inside of your teeks. This is, these are a pair of socks, actually, that are stuck onto my teeks right now. Um, because I am trying them out before I make a review about these socks. So I won't be speaking about that today. But on the inside, you'll just have your signature leather um, sole. And you get the stretchy material and then on the back you have the signature uh blue teak stripe that comes with every shoe and this is a patent leather 
it is wrinkly as so which i like um because i feel that if they were to be a smooth leather and i start to walk it'll only get creases where my foot bends and it won't be a cohesive look so i do like that they are already um pre uh wrinkled it is a these are just as comfortable as the regular leather um teaks same comfort same feel absolutely love it i've been wearing these um obviously since february but these i feel have not gotten as much use as my metallic bronze pair that's just because this is a very particular color i mean red shoes you can't exactly wear with everything so i do wear these often don't get me wrong i wear them often just not as much as i wear my metallic bronze which is why i haven't done like a um wear and tear because i'm gonna give these a year of wear before i can come back and sit down with you guys and give you the pros and cons between the patent leather teaks and the regular um leather teaks um i did do a recent video on my metallic bronze the wear and tear after a year so you guys can check that out but these i haven't owned long enough to or worn long enough to um, really tell you what the wear and tear on this is. They're practically brand new. So um, in the next couple of weeks, I will be uploading a video on, this, on these socks and I will give you my final thoughts on what I feel about them. Um, because a lot of people who have watched my Teeks video have asked me if I wear socks with it, if it makes your feet sweat. It doesn't particularly make my feet sweat, but if you're a person who has an issue with your feet sweating, then if I'm going to recommend a sock, I have to actually wear those socks and tell you how I feel about it. And if, if, if I prefer it, to wear them with socks. Uh, when you wear your teeks without socks, since your sole is leather, it will uh, patent. It will patina. I'm sorry. Not patent. It'll patina your leather. So... I went ahead and I flipped this over and the bottom of the shoe, the sole of the shoe is just a regular slab of leather that is sewn in with a very thick stitch. So nothing's going to happen to that sole. It's going to stay in place. On the inside, um, you also have that um, red uh, material. It is a soft kind of fuzzy red material. Honestly, I love this color i love everything about these red teaks they're vibrant they are just the pop of color that you need it speaks to my soul so why i got the ruby red versus the cardinal red so the cardinal red is also a red teak but is not patent leather it is a regular leather um shoe and with that said it is a slightly different um, shade of red. Uh, it is actually, uh, not slightly, it is a completely different shade of red. This is more of a deep scarlet colored red. That's more of a lighter version of this. So you really got to um, see them on the website, compare and contrast. So what I did was, Everybody who owns a pair of teaks, they hashtag um, on Instagram. I feel is the best way you can look at these shoes in all sorts of weather. So people hashtag teaks, like the color of their teak, like the name. So for example, if you had the leather print teaks and you would take a picture of them on Instagram, you would post hashtag leopard print teaks or teaks leopard print and you if you put that on your search bar you'll see every single person probably who's purchased these shoes and has posted a picture of them um during the day and all sorts of different weather there's people i've seen who wear, wear teaks in the snow so i mean i don't know i don't live in a state where it snows so can't talk about that but that's what i did i searched these on instagram and I compared these to the Cardinal Red Teaks and the Ruby Red Teaks, and I love these 
so much there wasn't an even a close call in my mind i knew that this is a color i wanted my eyes sparkle when i saw this color i mean it was amazing i truly love them i don't regret um making these my second pair of teaks i feel that i'm definitely gonna put these to good use and if you're looking for a pair of teaks that really 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 is gonna spice up your life I would definitely recommend the ruby red teaks okay you have to love the color red if you don't love the color red definitely this is not gonna be for you um, however I wouldn't necessarily recommend these as your first pair of teaks um, I would recommend my metallic bronze as the first pair because I feel that you will wear them a lot more because they match with a lot more things and you'll really get that use out of them. But if this is your second pair of teaks and you're ready to take the plunge and you are ready for that excitement and jazz right here, this is where, this is where it's at. I mean, just look at that color. I mean, I feel like the camera doesn't even do it justice. In person, they're just amazing. So basically, these are my red teaks. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it was informative. I feel that I don't see a lot of people doing vi videos on this specific color um, teaks because it's not totally the norm. Um, so I wanted to put my video out there because I feel like this is such a gorgeous um, color of red and I truly enjoyed it and for all the women out there who just love the color red, this is it girls. This is it. I love it. This retails for $195 on the Teak's website. Um, but I've heard people go on Teaks Anonymous, which is a group on Facebook, and people sell their mintly used Teaks on there. You can get them um, at a cheaper retail price. However, that's completely up to you. I hope you like this video. Enjoy your weekend, guys, and see you next time.